You know how sometimes you see a fabric and you just know exactly what it's going to be? You know the pattern and the details and all the things that you're going to do to make it exactly what you see in your mind? Well, that happened to me when I saw this fabric from 1000 Gauge. I'll show you around their site here in a sec, but first, be sure to like this video so other people will see it. Subscribe and click the bell if you want to be notified. Videos highlighting my makes and sewing pattern reviews go up every Monday. I have already have dozens for you to watch if you want to binge. Check out the playlist in the top right corner of your screen. It opens in a new tab so you won't lose your place here. Also, if you're new, welcome! I am Lindsay. I sew all my own clothes and I'm so glad that you found me here on my little corner of the internet. Be sure to introduce yourself in the comments so I can give you a formal welcome. Okay, back to my jacket. I am sure you haven't heard of this online fabric shop before, so let me show you around and point out why I love them so much. All right, so they are a South Korean fabric shop. They design, produce, and distribute all of the fabrics themselves. This obviously has lots of benefits to the consumer, including affordable prices by cutting out the middleman. But my favorite benefit of this is that you can get the same print in multiple different substrates. So think about that for a second. When I saw they had waterproof fabrics, I knew I wanted to make a raincoat. And when I looked a little bit further, I saw that they had the same exact print of the waterproof fabric that I liked in a brushed cotton and the little idea that I had like festering the back of my mind for years and years <laughs> of a winter raincoat came to mind something that would be warm enough to wear in the winter but still protect me from the rain I have never seen two fabrics uh, with the same exact print before and I was so excited to see this idea come to life it can be so difficult to pair lining fabrics with like outer fabrics in waterproof fabrics especially, but really any kind of coating. And when you have a hood, you can almost always see your lining, like whether the hood is up or down, you can see your lining. So the idea that I could have two different types of fabric, one to keep me warm, one to keep me dry, in the same exact print that I knew would not be clashing with each other, that would match and go and all that kind of stuff, just solidified for me that this idea needed to happen. So I ended up using the waterproof fabric for the entire shell, I mean obviously, and I used the brushed cotton for the hood lining and also the belt. I decided to do the belt even though it's on the outside and will probably get wet, only because it's not slippery and belts always come undone whenever they're made from slippery fabric. So I thought the brush cotton would be a good choice for the belt if only just to like hold it closed. If I do it again, I'd also use the brushed cotton for the front facing just for a little bit more warmth, but that could be our little secret. Like no one will ever know that I could have, but I didn't. <laughs> I didn't want to use the brush cotton though for the entire lining because we have pretty mild winters here and I knew I'd be wearing this jacket over sweaters and thought that the sweater fabric and the brush cotton would stick together. Like, you know, putting your arm through and it's just catching. Um, so regular lining went into the sleeves and the body of the jacket, but I did use two different colors for this uh, lining, one for the sleeve and one for the body, just for something fun and different. On the day that I filmed this video, it was raining <laughs> and in the low 60s. So it was a great day to test to see if my idea of a warm but dry raincoat would actually hold up. And you know what? My ears were very warm when I had the hood up. So I will have another video later this week with tips on how to sew with waterproof fabric. It's really simple, I promise. You just have to keep a few little extra things in mind and I will point all of those out in the other video. But I'll tell you one of them now is um, how to handle your seam allowances to ensure that they lie flat. I ended up top stitching mine, which I think gives this jacket a cool casual vibe. The uh, Waterproof fabric itself is a cotton fabric and then they apply like a thin film of laminate over the top. The wrong side is still cotton though, so you can iron the wrong side of the fabric, but if like two laminate sides touch, 
the iron will melt them together. So you just have to be super, super careful when pressing anything. Make sure you're only doing one layer at a time and use a pressing cloth any time that you are putting your iron to that fabric. The pattern I used is Seamworks Francis Coat. Their website describes it as a timeless silhouette, perfect for your favorite denim, twill, or coatings. It's fully lined with details that are satisfying to sew and will make you feel very proud when you're all finished. I actually really agree with that. <laughs> Fisheye darts provide gentle shaping on the back and the curvy size range features bust darts for additional shaping. Inseam pockets, a spread collar with a partial stand and a sharp button placket adds polish and a waist belt finishes this classic silhouette. So lots of things to unpack there. First of all, um, this does mention spread color and partial stand. That is the original design, but they have like an add-on, a bonus version where you can get the hood. Um, that version also has a really cool patch pocket that you can opt for as well. Also, did you catch fish eye darts in the back? of a coat. You know I love that so much. I am on the high end of the Missy size range, so I didn't add the bodice darts, but I love that that is an option. I ended up making a straight 16, even though my bust fit into a size 12. Seamwork patterns are notorious for really small bodices, mostly like in the arm side and shoulders. So that parted with the fact that I knew I would be wearing this over like thicker sweaters made me feel comfortable in sewing a jacket that might run a little bit big through the top. And it does. You can see that especially across the width around the high bust area and the shoulder length is long, but it doesn't bother me at all because I knew I wasn't going to be making a super tailored coat and that's not what I wanted. But I do have the sort of like oversized, slightly oversized shoulder cinched in waist thanks to the fisheye darts and the addition of the belt and then like my natural hip. So I do think it's still flattering even though it's a little bit bigger through the shoulder. I also shortened the coat by 14 inches to get this length. The original design is so long. Um, I almost cropped it even more but I really wanted to keep the pockets so I made it as short as I could while making sure the pocket bags would not be visible from the bottom hem. If you decide to shorten your coat, remember, you have to shorten like literally almost every single piece. Obviously, the shell, you know, front and back, um, the lining front and back, but also the placket and the facing as well. So that's the tea on my new winter raincoat. I really do hope you'll check out 1000 Gauge. They have so many great fabrics and the most wonderful prints that would suit any clothing, accessory, or home decor project. Head to the link in the description box to check them out. I would highly encourage taking a look at their gauze. So dreamy. I even saw they had a triple gauze on there. So be sure to check that out. They also have an amazing quilted cotton that I could see being used as sort of a boxy coat in a heartbeat. And then I'll probably pick up some of their embroidered fabric on my next order. So cute and so on trend. Oh, and look close when you're perusing the website right below the photos in gray. They will tell you how many times a particular fabric has been restocked so you can tell how popular it is. I love that little detail to help validate online purchases. Again, the link is in the description box. I hope you love them as much as I do. But that is going to do it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all very soon. Bye.